so now the, let's talk about a couple of unary operators and more specifically the increment and decrement operators. So we could do something where we create a variable called x and initialize it to zero. And then we add one to that and save it. But that's a little bit, that's a lot of code. That's a lot of typing right there. When you could just do something like this or this. So we don't do this. We do one of these two options. And the same goes for uh, subtraction. We don't do that. We use one of these operators. And those operators are known as the pre and post increment slash decrement operators. And these are what they look like. You can either have plus plus variable or variable minus or plus plus, which the plus plus first is the pre increment, and then the plus plus after is the post increment. Increment because you're incrementing it by one, whatever variable you have over here or over here. And then the same goes for minus minus, uh, with the minus minus on the left hand side of the variable, we're going to call that the pre-decrement operator. And with the minus minus on the right hand side of the variable, we're gonna call that the post-decrement operator. So the pre always is going to increment or decrement the value and then use it. The post is going to use the value and then increment slash decrement it. And you may ask yourself, Alex, what does all that mean? Well, let's switch over to the desktop and I'll show you. So we could make something like an integer uh, A and call that or and set that to zero. And then we could make an integer b and set that to a plus plus and output that. And output b, k. Okay. End line to end the line. Save that. Compile it with G++. And then we're going to run the a.out file we get with the dot slash command. And you notice A is 1 and B is 0. That's because we start with A being 0. We then take A and put it into B and increment A after we have put it into B. So B would get the zero value, and A would then get the one after B has got that zero. So that's why we get B is zero, A is one. But say we, I don't know, switched this over to here. And ran our program. Well, compiled it and waited and then ran our program. We notice the first one, we get exactly what we expect, but the second one, we get B is one now. That's because A gets set to zero and then it gets incremented to one and then it gets used to be placed into B. So B gets that one that it got incremented to before. And then we can do the same thing with the decrement operator. And then we can come over here, compile, wait, and then run. And you notice we get the zero in this case because it 
takes A, places its value into B, which is zero, and then it decrements A to negative one. And that's pretty much it for uh, these two unary operators. There are definitely many more unary operators, but that's all we need to know for right now.